So we thought we'd spend some time today in understanding how did Exabyte choose Freshworks? Uh, you know, how did that journey happen and then what's happened in the time when they start being a customer? But Chan, before we get into that aspect, so you've been running this company for about 20 years now. Uh, so in this last 20 years, can you probably touch upon how sales and customer support has evolved? Right. Uh, Exabyte started uh, almost 20 years ago, 19 to be exact, but soon 20. Uh, as an online first company, uh, that means uh, our encounters with customers is 99% uh, of the time is through online. And, uh, you know, uh, company has been growing tremendously uh, since uh, then. But sometimes growth is not an issue, right? When you have uh, 100 customers, I myself, I can handle everything. But when we grow to a thousand customers, that's where we need to hire more people. And when you grow to 10,000 customers, that's where by just hiring is not able to solve the issue, right? That's where you started to look into like tools uh, that can uh, you know, empower your, your people to, to do the work more efficiently. So uh, then that's where we first uh, you know, started uh, with uh, you know, help desk or in our industry called ticketing systems. Uh, and we use ticketing not just for support, but we also use it to uh, help or rather say uh, manage our sales process. Because most of the SME traditionally without using a CRM or without using a, a, a what they call a, a ticketing systems, when someone email you, it actually goes to sales at your company.com, right? And that's a mailbox. When you are running that as a one-man show sales department, that's okay. But if you have like two, three people, five people, ten people in your sales team, then you have problems. Who is the one who will take charge to uh, reply to that sales and queries? That's number one. Uh, manager, you need to have some visibilities, right? You know how fast is responded, uh, how they res reply, and all that. That's number two. Number three is you also try to avoid where every time uh, the customer send in a sales and query, then different agents will come in and uh, repeat the same questions or trigger that process. So you need a, a better way to manage your so-called sales mailbox, right? And the worst thing or the last thing you wanted to do is, uh, which we see a lot, a lot of SME, they actually register sales1.company at gmail.com, sales2 at company.gmail.com. So every sales would have a Gmail account, right? Or Yahoo account. And problem arise when, let's say your sales people leave, right? Or they change your password, they're nasty, now they, they change your password. So all these are the growing pain uh, of an SME, you know, in terms of how you, you manage sales. And uh, as I said, you know, the, the help desk and ticketing is not just for support. It can be used uh, for sales for sure. Internally, we also use it uh, for our billing, our customer service, etc. Got it. Now, uh, can, you, can you probably touch upon when did you start using Fresh Chat and Fresh Desk and what kind of benefits you've seen from it? Yeah. So, uh, Again, uh, uh, XMI has been growing rapidly since day one, and when we grow, that you know we have more problems come together. For example, you know we we are not we are not able to support uh, at one point of time we are not able to support our our customers as good as we use you know to deliver that service level before because you come to a point where the tools that we are using is not efficient. So, for example, you know I think at that point of time we have like about fifty thousand active customers. So every time uh, a customers send us an email, uh, then the first problem we encounter is that, okay, the agent just wanted to reply so that the ticket be clipped from their, their list, right? And that's not solving a customer's problem, right? And customers get frustrated because the issue is not resolved, right? And, uh, you know, customer reply back, then go to another agent, right? Then the second agent also, you know, will do the same thing. So every time the, the issue being back and forth, back and forth is never addressed. And uh, back then, the, the, the previous uh, ticketing systems we are using is not able to set that kind of uh, traceabilities and accountabilities. So we, we, had, we, decided, we, we decided that we need to look for new ticketing systems that uh, can uh, better uh, manage in terms of uh, accountabilities and traceability. So we came across uh, Freshdesk. Uh, and one thing we really like is uh, now we can actually uh, set account ownerships for every ticket or even up to specific customers, right? So with that, actually it changed our SOP, it changed our whole operation flow. Meaning to say that if let's say a customer A like you, you contacted X advice support for instance, 
uh, and it assigned to tech support one, right? So the tech support one actually will have that accountabilities because if he simply reply, he didn't solve the issues. When customer reply, the ticket will go back to his queue, right? So that changed the whole operation flow, the SOP, and also the mentality. They start to, to think, okay, if I don't resolve it now fast enough, I just simply reply. Eventually, the tickets will come back, right? I still have to reply, right? So that's number one. The accountability it help us to improve uh, overall the customer's uh, satisfaction uh, significantly, and we track that, right? Uh, number two, that uh, I think it helps us a lot is uh, fresh desk have this a uh, feature where it allows to do a post uh, issue survey. For example, after issue been marked as closed or resolved, you will actually send an invitation to the customers, ask to rate the customers. Uh, in terms of that specific case, how's experience? Happy or unhappy, right? And that's very important because uh, once you started collecting that feedback from customers, then you can start to benchmark how's the service level. And uh, we, we take that to the next level. Uh, we actually configure Slack. So if customer actually mark a ticket as not good or not happy, immediately you promise my agents, actually prompt the managers in their Slack. Right. That's where the managers will immediately look into that specific case and see, you know, is that something that uh, we can quickly resolve to make the customer happy because before the customers make even more angry, right? So uh, with all these tools, account ownership, uh, measurements in place and a lot of data insights, it helps to uh, make our organizations, uh, especially our support department run more efficiently. Just for our knowledge, uh, we have about uh, 160 over agents are using fresh desk. 50 of them, 50 plus of them are on the chat. The rest of them are on the ticketing systems. And uh, Exabytes, we run uh, multiple brands across different countries. We have like 12 brands across uh, four countries. And uh, fresh desk, uh, the other feature I like a lot is it support all these, we call the multi brands or they call multi products. That means all the different brands or different domain names or different email address under different domains. It could be centralized managed. You don't have to like have ten different installations just because of your ten your ten countries. Yeah, not to overwhelm you all with all these features or settings and all that. Uh, you will come to that point, you know, when you start to uh, implement the fresh and all that. And uh, of course, Exabyte or Freshworks or Fresh are happy to support and uh, take you together with that process. Got it. Now, since you also touched upon how we're ticketing on a chat system is not just for support but also sales. Can you probably talk about how Fresh Chat has helped you in your sales? Right, uh, before we move to Fresh, uh, Fresh Chat and uh, also Fresh Dash, right? Uh, we are using two different systems. The, the ticketing and the chat are two different systems. So that became a problem. For example, that cut not which is a very natural process. Customers come to the website and they saw there's a chat button then they start talking to the agents on the chat, right? Uh, it could be a scenario that the customer also first showed the email to sales at Exabytes, right? Then because he haven't got a reply in five minutes, then he start go to the website, wanted to chat with someone. But if you are using two different systems, that means right, you know, that's treated as two different cases, but actually the same case, right? So uh, as a company, that also means you have to deploy redundant resources, right? You see your support uh, and also chat request is actually double, right? Uh, and that's not efficient, right? And it could be worst case is that uh, the agent doing the chat and agent doing the ticket, they are not synchronized. So maybe you know they're offering different solution and all that. So it's a very uh, confusing and it could be a bad experience for customers. But once uh, you know we, we consolidate that into a fresh uh, chat slash uh, a fresh desk, we do the integration. Uh, when you look at a chat or you look at a ticket, you can actually see the history. Right, so that actually helps to improve the overall experience. For example, our salesperson, before they reply uh, to the chat or to the tickets, they can actually look at the history of the customers. Now, because it's the same platform, you know the history is easily integrated. So that helps in terms of the communications, in terms of uh, helping the customers. Got it. Now, so if you look at just the sales side of things uh, from the fresh chat angle that you wanted to touch upon, maybe can you talk about? So, uh, Mr. Kather was also talking about how you've grown exponentially in the last about five years, and you've been using Fresh Chat and Fresh Desk in the last about two years. Yep. How has uh, how has Fresh Chat helped in helped in this growth phase, this exponential growth phase? Uh, so, I think uh, what I shared uh, just now, all these are about efficiencies, right? Uh, there are other 
good features that we personally we, we like it a lot is for example uh, for your uh, fresh uh, suits of products the mobile capability is actually very strong so for example how we apply to our scenario is that uh, every sales and products company you assign to a sales agent and uh, in the past they only can access the help desk or access the chat tools on the desktop right which means after five you know even they wanted to support customers but if they are outside away from their desktop they can't actually do that but uh, with uh, uh, fresh chat for example the mobile apps is actually very easy to use so maybe while they are waiting leave you know waiting wanted to go go out from the office they can also quickly like reply one or two tickets or maybe you know uh, like yesterday met a customer and say hey 12 a.m before uh, he went off to bed he's still receiving uh, follow-up emails uh, from my sales agent and I told him, yeah, because of, uh, you know, now they have this ownership on the tickets, the response time, the, the success rate of closing, all this part of the uh, measurement. But more importantly, uh, through uh, FreshJet, it provides a tool that the agents can use it easily. Right? They don't have to log into computers, they just, with the mobile app, they can actually quickly access the, the chats, the tickets, the history and all that. Uh, not everyone loves this because that means you have to work 24-7 non-stop as uh, employees. I don't think everyone loves the idea, but in terms of uh, you know, if you put the thinking process as like customer first, you want to solve the customer's issue anytime, anywhere, easily, efficiently. I think that helps. Yeah. Got it. Now you just spoke about how you have about fifty, fifty-six agents in Fresh Chat and about one hundred and sixty of them in Fresh Desk. Yep. Uh, so this is clearly a scale organization, right? Or a scaling organization. Yep. Now. The problems when you are a startup, probably about 10, 15 years ago for you, and the problems that you have now are very different. Now, how is, uh, and you spoke about features and reporting and all that, now, how has managing this 200 people org across desk and chat been for you? Uh, the other good thing is that uh, it, it provides a lot of reporting and uh, insights, right? What's the trending, what is the, the predictions, what's the patterns. So with that, uh, the manager actually can have a lot of visibilities in terms of the workload of their team, right? Uh, and actually, uh, uh, all the fresh uh, works products it allow you to configure the level of access. For example, my uh, sales manager from Malaysia, she will only have uh, visibilities to the Malaysia sales team. Singapore sales manager will have the visibility to the Singapore sales team, right? But let's say, you know, if there's a VP of sales, he can have the visibilities to both Singapore and Malaysia. So in terms of uh, organization structure, uh, sales team structure, that is actually very uh, efficient in terms of uh, managing and also visibilities. Uh, also for us, uh, from time to time, we will uh, add new brands or maybe through acquisitions or we launch new brands to our, our groups of company. And uh, Fresh Desk uh, or Fresh Chat, uh, it allows uh, these uh, multi-brand features, they call it multi-product. So it's actually the same platform, same agents, right? When we roll out a uh, new division, for example, using a different domain, I don't have to pay extra license for that, right? Because it's the same numbers of agents, unless I'm adding a new employee as a new agent. Um, it also helps for us uh, you know, when we are scaling up because of uh, the equivalent grades of uh, software out there, they are like enterprise suites of products. Like uh, we talk to some of the, you know, uh, the so-called enterprise uh, solution providers, uh, the consultation itself is already a five digit, <laughs> right? And uh, the onboarding process is super painful because, you know, the process is tedious, right? But with uh, 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 fresh chat, uh, fresh desk, we actually sign up the 30 days free trial programs, right? Then we start uh, doing our own internal assessment, testing and all that. And uh, we start with one agent, one brand. Then when things works out, we started to uh, add more agents. Then we bring our other brands in. So it provides that kind of flexibilities to scale up, scale down easily. Uh, the other thing we like a lot is you have this uh, called day pass, right? There are, there are agents or for example, managers that may not uh, log into the, to the help desk uh, or sign on to the fresh chat uh, every day, right? So you you so if you sign that person under a monthly license, right? It's actually not worth it because you only use it once or two days a month. So you can actually uh, buy this thing called day pass. It's a fraction of the money fees. If you know, if you are not using more than seven days a week, I think it work. Like myself as a CEO, I don't log into the help desk uh, every day nowadays now. So I actually my my access probably tied to the day pass. So once once a while I lock in, it triggered my day pass, it charged me maybe like $3 a day. 
So it, it's very efficient for you know a lot of small businesses out there. Yeah. Got it. And and because you have hundred thousand odd customers yep. and you service customers across hundred and twenty countries, so this means different languages. This means different time zones. This means different kinds of ethnicity and what you talk to them will be very different. So how do you manage that with fresh chat and freshness? For example, recently we start to uh, all, uh, roll out our WordPress uh, uh, hosting services to Taiwan market and Taiwan customers, they, they communicate in uh, a Mandarin. So uh, using fresh uh, products, we can actually create a new department and we set that uh, as a Chinese. Uh, so when we give the Taiwanese customers, you know, you assign to an agent who speak Chinese and uh, the users, as end users interface, everything is also in Mandarin. So that uh, helps in terms of uh, the customer's uh, experience. And the basic is still within the same platform, it's the same login as the agent, you know, uh, but with that you can manage the full suites of uh, customers. Uh, I think the other point that I wanted to share is that uh, it has a lot of uh, integrations uh, with other tools that you are probably more familiar with. For example, I think just I mentioned like integration with Slack, right? Uh, the other thing we use a lot internally is we, we create this feature called SLA. For example, if an agent is not uh, responding to the chat within X seconds or X minutes, you either route to another agent or you may also concurrently send an alert to manager for instance, right? So, few implications, right? One is the agent know that, okay, my manager is watching me. If I don't reply fast enough, manager will receive a notification. So what, what happens when you work with exabytes in this case is, yes, like he said, the first 14 days or 13 day, 30 days, depending on the product, you get it for free. But also, because of the $400 credit, you can either use multi-product, multiple products from Freshworks, try out several things and not pay for it and use the $400 credit that you have. Or maybe just choose one or two products from Freshworks Engine and use that for a longer period of time. And that's the advantage of working closely with the XMI team. Yeah. Also, I think we, we uh, highly recommend uh, start with maybe one or max two products. Don't one shot start with the 12 products, you'll get Correct. overwhelmed. Correct. You start with one product, then because all products, they have a very similar uh, process flow, UI, UX, uh, then when they onboard, uh, I mean, you get your agents to onboard the second product or the third product is a lot more easier. So what we uh, we will do next is uh, you know uh, after this uh, event uh, we will do uh, we call it workshop workshop will be I think in a more like classroom format we will get the experts uh, from uh, Freshworks uh, depends on product we will get the relevant uh, uh, professionals that uh, comes in to do a more uh, uh, close uh, you know hand how to sessions yeah, how know, to sessions think about how can these products help you for your yeah. business we want to run personalized one on one you know at scale sessions where we can help you figure out how can Freshworks help you. Yeah. A quick raise of hands if you would be interested to be part of it, to understand how can Freshworks help you. Okay. Awesome, so we'll be in touch with And uh, some of you may be from uh, Easy Stores or you know, our, our other uh, portfolio company. Uh, for information, Easy Store is also uh, concurrently working on some integration. So in the future, you can see from Easy Store Marketplace, one click, you can just turn on the integrations. So that will make the whole uh, you know, activation process even a lot more easier. Awesome. Thank you again. And I think I'm really excited about this partnership as well and what we can solve for together. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you once again, Mr. Chancellor, and thank you, Mr. Congratulations once again on your partnership.